But for now, we'll send it into the kitchen. What are you guys cooking in there that doesn't look we're just cooking up some conversation. Thank you so much, <laughs> Megan. Uh, you know who else took a little jaunt down to Old Town Alexandria? Who, Chris? I know you love it down there. Uh, yes, it was me. It was not me, actually. <laughs> this time it was Brandon Fry, the D.C. Metro food dude. And he's got a taste of some hearty southern comfort food. On today's episode of Hitting the Streets with a Food Dude, we're in Old Town Alexandria. We're doing fried chicken, beef ribs, homemade waffles, and some awesome food. Welcome to Hen Quarter. I'm with the head chef here, Fred. Fred, why is your chicken so good, man? And why are the pieces so big? Oh, three and a half pound birds. Come on, these are amazing chickens. Juicy, succulent. Yeah, it's delicious. And so we're gonna go over here to Keisha. She's gonna take us through the whole breading and the frying process. Keisha, show us how you do it. All right, it's been breaded. Now it's going into the fryer for 15 minutes. All right, time for the fried chicken. They've also thrown one of their homemade waffles on here. And another first is the compressed watermelon. So juicy. All right, I wanna bring one of these pieces in for you guys to see. I just tried the chicken, man. It's so good here. It's kind of like, it's not like the commercial chicken that you normally get that's breaded and mass produced. This chicken's more like your grandmother down south made it, like in a cast iron pan. That kind of chicken, high quality, delicious. And once again, enormous. You gotta have the chicken here at Hen Quarter, it's awesome. All right guys, now I'm with Scott. He's about to make their killer beef rib, man. I cannot wait to see this. So Show this, us how you do it, man. This has been slow cooked for 48 hours. Okay, and now we're gonna grill it up. Now, now we're what, gonna put some smoked salt, some smoked pepper. It's what we call here our grill spice. Almost every piece of product that we make gets this put on it. Beautiful. We like to use the torch just to give it a nice little color around the bone. All right, best part, I get to try this bad boy. Super excited, take a close up of that. This thing is a beast, and if I wasn't on TV, I'd pick it up like this and nail it. But I'm gonna be proper, so here we go. Get a cut into that thing, super tender. All right, just had a bite of this thing, man. This thing is awesome. It's tender, and I love how the flame action they did to it charred the outside. It just made it look perfect. Honestly, for a fried chicken place, man, they definitely know how to do beef, man. Excellent. All right, guys, I'm sitting here with Olivia. I interrupted her crushing this fried chicken. What makes the fried chicken here so good? Um, it's definitely how juicy the chicken is. A lot of places, they get the skin on the outside wrong, but they miss the inside, and Hen Quarter made sure to get both right. I'm working on the biscuits and the doubled eggs. And which one is better out of the two? Honestly, it's really hard to pick, but I'm definitely going to have to go with the doubled eggs. They just they just take me back, back to Grandma's house. Just like Grandma's house? Yes, they're amazing. What is the best item at Hen Quarter that you recommend? For appetizers, I go with the hen doubled eggs or the fried green tomatoes. Oh yeah, or for an entree, the chicken and waffles with watermelon. Just coming out of Hen Quarter, I got to try the fried chicken. I had the beef rib, I had the waffles with the homemade butter. This place absolutely rocks. The chef in here knows what he's doing, man. Everything's made from scratch. Highly recommend it. Once again, if you have a restaurant that you think makes the cut for hitting the streets on the Food Dude, hit me up at fooddudeusa.com. Peace. Oh, Peace that, indeed. that food looks so good, especially when you say your grandma with the cast iron skillet. I knew mm. exactly what you were talking a about, southern Brandon. southern grandma, yes. Yeah. We mm -hmm. all have different grandmas. If you have a southern one, that's what she, she makes. I had a southern like. grandma. You so did? I related. Yeah, oh, Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, coming up, it might look like a fancy hotel, but we learned.